Hello, welcome back to my Minecraft tutorial series. So, I upgraded to the 1016 Direwolf pack, which includes the new Thomcraft update, so I thought I might try Thomcraft again. So, I deleted my old character data to make sure I've got nothing from my old 4.0 Thomcraft stuff. I'm just going to start over because I didn't really get any far, very far with it anyway. So, the first thing we need to get started with Thomcraft is a bookshelf, which I have, and a wand, which I don't. So, the most basic wand you can make in Thomcraft 4 is the iron capped wooden wand, which requires a stick and iron caps. So, to make iron caps, it's just iron nuggets, which I don't have any of. Alright, let's see here. Alright. Just like that, and a helmet pattern. And we need two of those. So, there we are, two iron caps for our stick, which will become our first wand. There we go, our first wand. Put our bookshelf down, right click, and we get this, the Thaumonomicon, which is the Book of Thaumcraft. It tells you how to do everything in Thaumcraft, basically. There's things you know how to do already, research, the Thaumonomicon, knowledge fragments, and there's stuff you need to research, which is, you know, lots of stuff. So, Thomcraft 4.1 changed the research so that you, you can pick which research path you want. It's no longer random. That's a big step forward. And they changed the minigame to make it much less annoying. I think it's going to be tolerable, although, to be honest, I'm not sure if I've played it more than once. So, we'll see. If not, I'll do something else for this episode and throw this away. Okay, the next thing we're going to need are some of these Thomcraft tables. So, to make a Thomcraft table, we need planks and slabs. So, the Thomcraft table looks like that. And I need three of them. Alright. So, let's see, where am I going to put the Thomcraft stuff? We're also going to need a thermometer. And this is the early way of seeing and figuring out stuff about the Thomcraft world. So let's go ahead and make that before I go downstairs. And they changed the recipe for this too. It's any two kinds of shards, two gold ingots, and a piece of glass. So yeah, that's probably fine. We also need these thing called scribing tools, which is basically like a, you know, ink and quill. And to get scribing tools, we need ink sack and a feather, I want to say. And a glass file or a glass bottle. So, I only had one glass bottle. Let's make a couple more of those because you need it for multiple things. Alright, so I'll make some more of those. And your scribing tools, unlike in Thomcraft 3, do run out. So you can repair it with ink sacks, you know, basically refilling the ink, or you can just make new ones. So I'm going to make new ones for now. I probably only need two, really, and some more ink sacks, but we'll see how it goes. All right. If we're going to be writing, we're going to need paper. And I'm going to need more paper. Okay. That's probably a good start with that. I think that's all I need for the beginning. So let's go set up Thomcraft in the sub-basement. I'm going to put it here for now until I figure out where I want it to go. So here is going to be our research table. Put two tables together and put the scribing tools either on the left or the right and this will become a research table. We also need another table and we're going to right click it with the wand to turn it into an arcane workbench. I don't think we need that right yet but we will eventually so I'll go ahead and make it. Now the research table like I said is no longer random. You've got your scribing tools, you've got the aspects we know about and I'll get into aspects very soon. 
you don't put paper here because this is just for research notes now. And the way you start out with research notes or the way you figure out a research note is you right click your thominomicon and you go into the different things you want to research like basic information or alchemy, artifacts, there's lots of stuff over here. Most of the stuff I think I'm going to do is going to be in basic alchemy and artifacts. So artifacts is like the Thomcraft tools, you know, they've got enchanted fabric and the goggles of revealing, which is pretty handy. But the first thing I think I want to do is the research expertise because it's going to make research easier. So basically in Thomcraft 4.1, you left click on something to get a research note. So like I said, you can pick the research path you want to go down. Much nicer than the random thing they had before. So I'll left click and you have to make sure you have paper and scribing tools in your inventory. I'm pretty sure this won't work if you don't have those things research note added to your inventory for research expertise. Right click on the table and I can go and research this. And you can see I've got these question marks here. I don't know what research or what aspects belong in research expertise. I just started with Thomcraft. I don't have anything. So the way you figure stuff out is with this thermometer. And you can hover over stuff and if you it doesn't know what a stone cover is. But stone, if you right click on it, I learned that stone has saxum. And that's something that will help me out. And I can research other things, like if there were some cobblestone around here, which I don't think that there is, because I've pretty much gotten rid of that. But can I scan stone bricks? I sure can. There's more saxum. Can I scan end stone? Okay. Here you can see in the bottom right hand corner, you do not have all the knowledge required to understand this. So you can't just scan anything in the world. If you don't have the required aspects to understand something, you can't scan it. So aspects are the magical properties just in the world that Thomcraft thinks makes up everything. So there's six basic elements corresponding to the six types of shards you're going to find. And I've done a lot of mining, so I've got plenty of Thomcraft shards. So there's air, earth, order, entropy, fire, and water. Those are the six basic aspects, although they've got these magical kind of names for them. I think order is... You know, I'm not even going to guess because I don't want to be wrong here. <clears throat> All right, so we've got our research table and we've got our thermometer. So basically we need to scan more things to figure out stuff. The other way you can learn what things make up what is to go into your research table. So if I take this research note out and said, well, does air and terra make up something? No, I guess not. How about air and fire? Hey, I figured out what Lux is made of. That's air and fire. So I can research them down here and find out new things, or I can go scan stuff. Now, I found a thread that I'll try to post in a link for that showed how to get all the aspects pretty easily by scanning stuff for Thomcraft 4. So I'm going to go through and try to get that and get all these aspects. Um, I'm not going to show that on camera because... Um, it's just, it's it's too much. But I'll show you scanning a few more things to show you how you can scan some stuff. But let me go get some aspects, and I'll be right back and show you what I've learned. Back in a flash. Okay, I haven't actually done any more research yet. I wanted to show you a couple things about uh, the thermometer. So first of all, you can throw things on the ground and then scan them. Coal has ignis and potentia, so fire and power. And I can... Scan bowls. So, you can learn all kinds of things by just throwing stuff down. But if you're too close, it will just pick things back up. So, you want to throw it far enough away, you don't just pick it up. And as you can see, I don't have the knowledge required to understand this. I was going through part of it, and I saw I didn't have the knowledge for some of these stuff, so I wanted to check on one more thing. It used to cost you research points to research things, so 
Aqua and Terra is supposed to be something. Yes, it's Victus. I think I had 15 and 16 before, so I think that did cost me something. Let me go outside and get grass real quick. <laughs> Do I have any grass nearby? Oh, there's some. Hmm. It says I don't still. Oh, I needed to get Victus to understand the seeds. So, it can be somewhat difficult to get all the research points, but um, like I said, there's a thread in Thomcraft 4. It tells you how to discover all the aspects quickly by scanning certain things. So, I just want to show you that you could scan items you throw down. Now, certain items, you know, you right click and they activate. So, like, if I scan the lever, I'm just going to do that. So you need to shift or sneak right click. Now I don't want to have knowledge to understand a lever, but that's okay. The the important thing I was trying to tell you is that you can scan things even if they're right clickable. So same thing for the door. I could scan the door, and I've got wood from the door. So okay, I'll be back once I've got some more aspect points. Okay. Still not done my research yet, but I want to show you can scan mobs too. So I can scan chickens and pigs. Basically, you can scan almost anything. So it's important to do that for a lot of things. Alright. Still doing research. Okay, so I'm done scanning for now. Um, you should also know that you can scan pretty much all the mod blocks too. I see two that doesn't seem to be compatible with this, maybe it's because it's the new beta version or something, but um, pretty much everything else I could scan, and even sometimes you can scan some things from a mob and not other things, like this tool forge, nothing to learn about that, but the part builder, pattern chest, sample table, we can scan those things. So once you're done researching, looking up aspects and doing what you can do, the next thing is to do is to run around and scan everything you can possibly see, everything in your base, every machine, everything out in the world, to try to get as many aspect points as you can. So, there, see the vacuum hopper gave me all of those things. And each of those points goes into my research table points, so I've got like 121 machina, and you know, 74 arbor, so I've got lots of wood machine stuff, which makes sense. I've got lots of wood around here and lots of machines, so that makes sense. It's the most. There's lots of, what do they call it, metallum for metal, so like I said, they've got names for all these things. Okay, so let's go back to the research mechanic. Once you get a research note from your Thalmanomicon, you put it in here, and you play the research connecting mini game. So, we have to connect these symbols together. I don't know if it has to be connecting this one to these two, or if I connect this to this to this. I think they just have to all three be connected no matter how you do it. But um, we'll see. So this is Ordo, order. This is Cognitio, or Cognitio, I don't know which is made up of Terra, Earth, and Spiritus, Spirit, and this is Census, which is made up of Air and Spiritus. And the way I knew that was, well, A, I did the research, and I should know that, but in your Thalmanomicon, right-click, go to Basic Information. You can left-click and scroll around here, move the things over. This one is Aspects of Magic. That's all the aspects that you know about. It's it gives a description of them, how to make compound aspects, and then it lists every aspect you know, how many of them you have, and if you click over here you can see what kind of things have those, which will be important later on if I do more in-depth Thomcraft stuff, but you can see that so far I know grass, cake, and arrows have air in them. Uh, Alanis, so that unifier had it, the ender chest had it, the vacuum hopper had it, Andaloy seeds have it, and the tesseract had it. So, you know, and I can find out that, let's see here, Cognitio, 
and they're all labeled alphabetically, but they're labeled with the Thomcraft name, not whatever you know description they have. Like Cognitio, I think is is has a, a tool tip for them, but you're gonna find it with a Thomcraft name alphabetically. Same thing in the research table. Cognitio is Terra and Spiritus. So Terra is Earth, but so you see air, air. And let's see, where's Cognitio? Mind, memory, cognition. So it's not really words that are the same, it's just a description of what this stuff is about. So Cognitio of the mind. So okay, so that's how I knew that, and that's important because we have to connect these symbols. And the way you connect the symbols is by dragging an aspect over to one of these subsequent grids, one of these connecting hex tiles. And if they um, are compatible, like Cognitio is made up of Terra and Spiritus. So I can put Terra or Spiritus here and they would connect, either one. Or I can put anything in here that has either Air or Spiritus. At least I think so. Let's find out if that's true. Let me go back into my Thaumonomicon, Aspects of Magic, and let's see here. Air is made up of cake. So, how does that help me? It doesn't so far. Let me get a cake. So, cake has all of these aspects. Okay, that's not quite what I meant. I'm sorry. Ignore that. If we had a compound aspect that was made up of cognitio, we could put that next to here. Otherwise, we're going to have to go with either Terra or Spiritus. Well, let's see here. Terra is Earth, but remember they're alphabetical not by Earth, but by Terra, the Thomcraft name. So, Perfodio, Permutatio. Let's see here. Okay. So if I drag this over, you see it's 26 points right now. These connect. Now if I take this off, I just lost my research point. You don't get them back. Now later on, we'll have a chance to get that back. In fact, research expertise helps us get aspects back if we made a mistake. But um, it's not 100%, you know. This is... So... You don't want to just start dropping stuff there. You have to do some thinking about it. So I can put Terra here and try to connect this somehow over here to get up to Ordo, which is Order. So I need something made up of Terra and something made up of Terra and Order or some compound to get here. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit confusing. I'm going to go figure out how I'm going to do this and come back and show you the completed one and then I'll try to explain it a little bit better. Back in a flash. Okay, I'm back. It takes, uh, you know, it takes a bit to think about how you're going to connect it, so uh, it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy, but um, I'm hoping I get the hang of it better, you know, at some point. And um, so to answer the question, um, I don't have to connect this one to these two. I can connect, it just has to be in a line somehow. I'm pretty sure I could even go this way and connect these two out. I didn't have to go in one straight line. I'm pretty sure of that, but I'll check it out. So, um, what are all these things? Um, okay, so I went from order to jellum, which has water in it. So we go from jellum to water. Water is Invictus, and Terra is also Invictus. So we went from Terra to Victus to Earth, and that's what we use, or Terra, which is in Cognitio. Cognitio has Spirit in it, which has Victus, which has Spirit, and Census is Spiritus and something, whatever. Um, so, you cannot connect two of the same thing together. I can't string along, um, I can't put Spiritus, Spiritus, Spiritus. They have to be different. So that's something I found out. But, um, 
Okay, so that's the basics of research, and you'll probably want to watch some more videos. Um, hey, Yorkie, H-A-I-G-H-Y-O-R-K-I-E. He has a lot of Thomcraft videos and is doing updates for Thomcraft 4.1. He did a whole series on Thomcraft 4.0, so um, I like his stuff. I suggest you go watch it if you want to learn more in-depth Thomcraft stuff, because he'll be a much better source for that. But when you connect them all together, you get a research, a finished research, which I can take out of here. And I can right click and discover it. I now have research expertise. So why did I want research expertise? Well, let's go back into my Thalmanomicon. You can see I now have it. I have become more efficient at performing research. Whenever you remove an aspect that you place in a hex, there's a 25% chance you'll regain the research point. So instead of just losing them every time, I have a 1 in 4 chance of getting it back. So not perfect, but there's some chance I'll, I'll, I won't waste my research points from now on. I am also able to see what aspects I need to combine to create an aspect I'm hovering over. So instead of going back to the Thalmanomicon all the time and going back into aspects of magic, which I spent a long time going back and forth between that. This probably took, you know, five minutes to figure this out. I can see that Cognitio is made up of Terra and Spiritus. You can barely see that Spiritus, but I'm hovering over them. I see what they're made of. So fire is a core aspect, but everything else, I know what's in them. That will help me not have to go back to the Thalmanomicon when I'm doing research. So... That's the basics of doing the Thomcraft research. Huh. I didn't know cakes just broke when you broke them. I mean, they should, but... Okay, so that's a pretty good start on Thomcraft. Let me go do a couple research things, see if anything cool we can make with what I know about so far. Um, if not, I'll probably just go around and in the world and scan some more stuff. I also need to find a node so that I can show you how to fill up your wand with aspects because that will be important later on. Alright, I'm going to go check the time and then I will see if I can come back and show you something useful from Thomcraft. Okay, I'm back. So one of the things when you're running around and scanning things is to look for those things. And you can barely see them, like if you're not if you don't have the thermometer just with you, but you'll probably never notice them, and they're a little bit rare, I think, so, but you'll run across every once in a while. This is an aura node. You can scan aura nodes, find out what it has. This is a fire and an ordo node, which is great because we need some fire. So if I point my wand at the aura node, right click, I can fill up my fire, and that's perfect. So my, I'm, my fire is full. Now, the other way to fill your wands is by killing mobs. I actually got everything but my fire filled up by just killing mobs, and it's actually pretty easy to do, except for the fire. For some reason, only creepers give fire. So sometimes when you kill mobs, you'll see little orbs drop that aren't experience orbs. These are the Thalmcraft aspect orbs. So. Um, if you've got your wand, I'm not sure if it has to be on, on the hot bar or just in your inventory, but it has to, but I've, I think I've had mine in on the hot bar and I got like 25 of everything, which is a full wand for an iron capped wooden wand. Other wands can hold more V, but this particular one is limited to 25 of each. So once we find one of these nodes, you want to mark this down. Um, let me see here. Trying to use the Thomcraft names. Fire is Ignis. So there it is. And like I say, you just have to kind of run around scanning for them. Um, I think they're kind of rare, but I think there's a way to move them at some point. But uh, we're way too early in Thomcraft to be doing that. So I just want to show you, you can fill up your wand with V, which is the you know the aspects. And you'll need to have your wand charged to do certain things in Thomcraft. So run around, find aspect nodes, scan them. This is a normal node, which means it won't cause any kind of weird effects in the area. I don't really know a lot about what it means, but um, we'll get into it. 
All right, I'm gonna go back to the base and um, I'll show you more stuff I've done with Thumbcraft. Be right back. Okay, I'm back at the base and I've seen some advice for putting these crystal clusters near your research table to fill up your base aspect research points. Um, I don't know, I'm getting conflicting opinions about that, but I'm going to try it, see how it works. And by the way, I think that node was an Ignis Perdicio, not Ordo node. So, uh, sorry. So, if you take your shards of every kind and put them like that, you can get one of these crystal clusters. So, we're going to do that, and we're going to... Put these around our research table to hopefully regenerate our research points automatically. I've also seen where people say, oh, you need to use bookshelves, kind of like an enchanting table. Again, you know what? I don't know which one of those is true because I haven't actually experienced it and I'm getting conflicting opinions. But, um,. We're just going to try doing this. Four, five, six. So there we are. Earth, water, order, entropy, fire, and air. And hopefully those will replenish my base aspects. And with that, we can make the other aspects when we need to. So that should help me out. So. Let me go work on this research mastery note, and I'll be right back to show you what that gives you. Okay, I'm back. So here's how I connected the research mastery one. So Cognitio is made up of Terra, which is in Victus, which has water, which is in Jellum, and Jellum has Ordo in it. And we can connect this Jellum to this water, does that have to go in a straight line? It, it can go out here, and then up there, and then over there. So as long as you connect the pieces together, it looks like it works. So, all right, so this gelum to this water, which is in this Victus. Victus is part of, of Spiritus, and Spiritus is in Census. Also in Census is Air, which has Vacuos, which has Air, which has Vacuos, which is in Percantio, Magic. There we go, Research Mastery. So, what does Research Mastery do for us? I don't remember, but I know it was important, so let's see here. Research Mastery. You have become more efficient at performing research. Whenever you remove an aspect you place in a hex, there is a 50% chance of regaining research points. So now we have, we now have a 1 in 2 chance of getting our points back. Additionally, there's a 10% chance whenever you place an aspect, it will not cost any research points. So, that's pretty nice. So, now, 1 in 10 times, we won't use any points at all. Lastly, you're able to combine aspects in the research table by control clicking on the aspect you wish to create. If you have enough components, they will automatically combine to create the clicked aspect. Okay, that's going to be helpful too. So what happens when you run out of certain aspects? Like what if I didn't have any Aurum, but I had Percantio and Air, which are those two symbols there, the purple wand and the, you know, the Air thing, whatever it is. If I didn't have enough, I'd have to click and click and then research. I think I showed you that before with something when you're when you're first getting it, but when you need more points, you have to do that too. So now instead, if I wanted more, let's see, if I wanted more Jellum, which is Water and Ordo, I can control click, no, there it is, control shift click, and I spent a Water and an Ordo to get a Jellum. Control shift click, I get another one. So there you go. So that's kind of nice. It just makes it easier when you run out. And I think when I have zero, um, this won't disappear now. It will show me zero so that I can make one. Not 100% sure about that, but I thought I saw that in Dire Wolf's 4.1 spotlight. So, okay. Well, I haven't shown anything useful with Thomcraft yet, but um, it has a lot of useful things, at least I'm pretty sure it does. So, 
I'd like to see if I can make that wand of equal trade and show you what that's all about. Because I talked about it a long time ago, but then I said I gave up on it. But um, let me see if I can if I can get to that. I don't know if I'll be able to or not, but I'm going to try. And um, I'll see if I can make that. I'll either be back in a minute or I'll be back next episode if this is too long. Okay, this video is too long. It's going to have to be wrapped up. I just wanted to let you know that unfortunately um, all Thalmcraft data is stored inside my player data, so even if you use my world, you're not going to get everything that I have in Thalmcraft so far. you got to do it yourself. So, um, sorry. It's the way it is. Okay, see you next time.